Hey, it's Blaine here from Current Automotive, and welcome to our first video in our new series about Tesla Autopilot. Autopilot is the number one category we get questions about here at Current Automotive, and it's totally understandable. Tesla has released several versions of Autopilot over the years with similar names, and they haven't done very much to try and make it easy for newcomers to understand. Thankfully, we're experts, and we'll break it all down for you here. This first video is going to be about Autopilot hardware specifically, because it's easier to understand the software once you understand the hardware that makes it all work. Plus, if you're shopping for a used Tesla, it's really important that you're able to figure out which version of the hardware is installed on the car. Each Autopilot hardware system is a combination of multiple components that, when working together, allow the car to see the world and respond to it. The three big components are cameras, sensors, and computers. Generally, each new iteration of Autopilot hardware features more numerous and more powerful components, allowing the system to see the world in more detail and respond to it faster and more reliably. Autopilot Hardware 1, which is, as you'd expect, the first iteration of the hardware, shipped from September 2014 to October 2016, and can be found on both Model S's and Model X's built during the time period. It had just one front-facing camera. Tesla's had a rear camera at the time, but it wasn't connected to the autopilot system, it was only for backup duty. The sensor suite featured a Bosch radar with a 525-foot range, and 12 sonar sensors placed around the body, each with a 16-foot range. Without side-facing cameras, the sonar sensors are what Autopilot Hardware 1 uses to detect surrounding traffic for lane changes. Running all this tech was a Mobileye IQ3 processor. Autopilot Hardware 1 is the easiest Autopilot hardware system to identify due to its low camera count. First, look at the top center of the windshield to confirm there's a camera housing. If there is no housing, it doesn't have Autopilot hardware at all. Second, check the fender badges. If they are flat against the fender, then the car has Autopilot Hardware 1. If the fender badges are raised and have a camera inside, they have Autopilot Hardware 2.0 or greater. Instead of just one camera, Hardware 2.0 now used eight. Three forward-facing cameras are visible in the camera housing, two side cameras are in the B-pillars, two side rearward cameras are under the fender badge, and the rear camera got roped into the autopilot system. Hardware 2.0 uses the same 525-foot Bosch radar, but the 12 sonar sensors got a range upgrade to 26 feet. Finally, the Mobileye processor was replaced with an NVIDIA Parker system-on-chip computer, along with an additional NVIDIA Pascal GPU and one Infineon Tricore CPU. You don't really need to know what any of those do individually. The important thing to remember is this computer is significantly more powerful than the previous one, which is an important upgrade when the car suddenly has data from eight cameras to process instead of just one. Autopilot Hardware 2.0 was installed on Model S's and Model X's between October 2016 and August 2017, which is when Tesla rolled out Autopilot Hardware 2.5 to the rest of the lineup from the then-new Model 3, which used it from launch day. Autopilot Hardware 2.5 was a much smaller upgrade. It used the same set of cameras Hardware 2.0 used, and it also used the same 26-foot range sonar sensors. The radar supplier was changed from Bosch to Continental, and the component received a small range increase as well, now 558 feet. Finally, Hardware 2.5 used the same set of processors as Hardware 2.0, but importantly, it included a second NVIDIA Parker system-on-chip computer for redundancy, essentially a safety backup to keep the system running if one of the computers encounters an error. Hardware 2.5 shipped from August 2017 to March 2019, when Tesla released Hardware 3.0, the latest version of Autopilot hardware on the market. Autopilot Hardware 3.0 was another incremental upgrade. It used the exact same suite of cameras and sensors Hardware 2.0 did. The Hardware 3.0 upgrade was once again computer-related. The NVIDIA chips are gone, replaced with a pair of redundant computers Tesla designed in-house. Tesla says this new computer is the last piece of the hardware puzzle necessary for complete full self-driving functionality. The company also says it can refit this computer into some earlier cars, so they can also receive full self-driving functionality. The one exception being Autopilot Hardware 1.0 cars, which don't have the cameras necessary for the retrofit. 
Because there is no obvious visual way to distinguish between hardware 2.0, 2.5, and 3.0, the way to confirm which version a car has is to check the additional vehicle information screen on Tesla's software menu. The autopilot computer section will say 1.0 for hardware 1, 2.0 for hardware 2.0, 2.5 for hardware 2.5, and full self-driving computer for hardware 3.0. So that's everything you need to know about Tesla Autopilot hardware. But something really important to remember is that just because a car has Autopilot hardware doesn't mean it has Autopilot software. Tesla has been building all of its cars with Autopilot hardware since late 2014, and then customers have to pay extra to make sure the software is installed on the car when they buy it, or to upgrade down the road. In our next episode, we're going to be looking at the Autopilot software packages, what the different ones contain, and how you can know which version of Autopilot software is installed on any given Tesla you're looking at. I've written a lot about Autopilot over the last year, and I'm going to be including some links to the articles I've written in the description below. I'm also going to be linking a technical Tesla Tap article where I've sourced some of this information from. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.